Hey everyone here, I'm going to show you how to quickly download our software, HLS Meta. Oh, I'm going to use Internet Explorer, you can obviously use any browser, and you can also install Linux. It's a similar setup, but slightly different from using a PC. Well, here we're going to go into Internet Explorer, I already copy and pasted a link for the PC download. And it's going to ask you if you want to open, save, save as. So we'll do save as. And then we'll just do it on the desktop to make it easier. As you can see right here, HLS Meta version 0 0.9. Save that. Just going to wait a little bit. Okay. Now we're going to exit out of here. And as you can see, what we have here is a zip folder. So you're going to want to unzip it. Um, if you have Windows, this feature obviously built in. Um, you can extract. The files will be extracted to this folder right now. As you can see, this is the desktop. So it's going to put it on the desktop as well. So we're going to extract that. So you can see right over here is the unzip version. Now that you have the unzip version, you no longer need this one unless you want to keep it for archiving. So we're going to open this up and here it is in here. And you can just ignore all one, two, and three. What you're going to want is this one right here. And then you might get a pop up like this. It's protecting your PC. It's because it doesn't recognize the program. Obviously, it's one we built, so Windows is not familiar with it. So we're going to click OK, or we're going to click More Info. Um, this is on Windows 8. Windows 7 is going to be a little different. Run anyway. Then you're going to have to give it a few seconds to load. And here you see the splash screen. Give it a few more seconds. And here we go. Here's HLS Meta. Here's the main screen. Click About and Licensing. It'll tell you a little bit about how we built it, who built it, the licensing, and so on and so forth. You can read through all this. Um, there's some, some thank yous at the end. So this is the main one you're going to want is create new file and enter data. This is going to create a new data file for you to use for you to enter effect sizes. So you can click that. Right when you do that, it's going to give you an option to save the file. So you're saving the file ahead of time. What it basically is, is it's a file that's going to be loaded into Excel. So after you run through the software, your endpoint is going to be opening a file in Excel. So what you're going to want to do is put this in a place where you're going to remember where it is. So what I would do is write in the HLS Meta folder, create a folder, and you can just name it anything. For me, I'm just going to put effect sizes for now. You can name it whatever you want as long as you know where it is. And then... We'll just put effect size test for now. Save that in there. And now this is going to bring you to the main screen. Now I'm going to go through this screen and how to do specific setups in a few other videos. But basically, what's going to happen from here is you're going to you're going to build the file, and you're going to in the end save it, and it's going to export to that folder that you saved to. So going through here, this is the original folder we had, and as you can see, it's right there, the effect size test folder, and that's going to build as you go, so as you enter each effect size, it's going to save as you go, so if for some reason the program quits out on you or something, your computer freezes up, you're not going to lose everything you did, it's going to actually build that as you go, so you don't have to worry about that, and if you ever want to just check as you go along, you can always quit, and then you can open the file in Excel, and um. I'll show you in another video how to open that file within Excel because there's a few extra steps to do that.